From the Charles River in Boston, this is Howlin' Huskies Productions. And this morning, we present to you the Congram Cup between the 6th ranked Northeastern Huskies and the 14th ranked Wisconsin Badgers. I'm Kevin Gale riding the boat alongside these two top 15 programs as Wisconsin tries to pick up the Congram Cup for the first time in program history. These two teams split the opening races on this day. Wisconsin got a runaway victory in the third varsity eight, while Northeastern picked up a dominant win in second varsity eight. Now it's time for the main event. Wisconsin picked up a near three second victory yesterday over Holy Cross along this 2000 meter course in the Charles River. While yesterday the varsity group from Northeastern fell on the wrong side of the Smith Cup to number three ranked Harvard. An honorary title given to Charlie Smith, a gregarious boatman who had connections with both Northeastern and Harvard. He tragically died in a car accident on his way to the IRAs many years ago. Smith Cup retained by Harvard yesterday. The Congram Cup at stake again this morning. Northeastern will try to stay perfect in this event. Flag is up to our left. You are looking at Northeastern in the black jerseys to the near lane. Wisconsin on the far side in the red jerseys. Cambridge, Massachusetts in the background. We are set for the Congram Cup. Into the starting sequence for both of these groups. And we will introduce you to the lineups. Coxing the Huskies, George Dottie. In the stroke seat, Jasper Engel. Elias Kuhn sits seventh, then Braden Camp. Jan Henneke is in the five. Ruben Houghton, Peter Arata, Cormac Purcell, and Will Lerwick sits bow. In the other lane for Wisconsin this morning, Coxing, Kaz, Kishui, Koval, then Dylan Adams, Tyler Stevens, Adam Wecking, Kurt Mueller, Kyle McCarthy, Jacob Wenner, Philip Bogdanov, and Evan Miller. This varsity eight group for Wisconsin really came out to race yesterday. Head coach Chris Clark expected a bigger margin of victory over Holy Cross, but in his words, a win's a win. They felt they were going to win, and they haven't really felt exactly where they want to be the last couple weeks. Similar story for the Northeastern varsity eight as well. George Stiegler from Washington, D.C. suffered an injury. His coach is being very, very careful with his recovery. He is an important piece of the postseason group that will be heading to the Eastern Sprints coming up May 19th in Worcester. He's been replaced in this boat by Cormac Purcell. So there was a trickle-down effect across each and every boat along the river this weekend for the Huskies. This is a relatively young group in the Varsity 8 for Northeastern. Bow pair, Cormick and Lerwick, a couple sophomores, fairly young boat as we mentioned, a good unit, good rhythm from that stern pair. And you have a freshman coxswain in George Dottie from the Marin Rowing Association out in Northern California. He'll be back in that part of the country for the Nationals coming up a few weeks from now. Bow deck to stern deck here, Huskies have a near boat length advantage over Wisconsin. Badgers trying to match that stroke rate and take back some seats. MIT along the shore here in Cambridge. Wrapping up the opening 500 meters of this race and we'll work our way into the middle one. Under the Mass Ave Bridge. Husky fans have been gathered over the top to cheer on their team throughout the morning. Huskies may be within reach of some open water here. Taking it up a beat, shifting the power. They can glance up and see a Northeastern Huskies flag hanging from the Mass Ave Bridge. Rain has stopped here about 51 degrees in the Charles River traversing Boston and Cambridge on either side. Wind blowing about six miles per hour out of the east. 
and George Dotty has this boat in rhythm. John Pajednik wanted this new lineup just to keep it close with Harvard yesterday. They hoped for a better result, kept it within a few seconds, and now this boat may be rounding into form. Might be the last time we see this lineup, but they are generating results against Wisconsin now. Trying to stay undefeated in the Congram Cup. Wisconsin's matchup here against the sixth ranked Huskies marks the fifth race against a ranked team this season. And they are the wrong side of a big deficit now. Huskies showing off this morning on the Charles River. Trying to take two out of three in these varsity eight races. No coxed fours this morning. Straight to the big boats. And the Huskies have opened up more than a two boat length lead over the Badgers. Lots of factors contributing to this ramp up for the Huskies this weekend. John Pajednik has loved the building blocks he's seen this season. That January and February conditioning really paying off now. Fans cheering from the far side of the river. The Huskies can take a victory lap after this one. What a performance. First varsity and a first place finish just moments away into that final sprint sequence. Stroking to the finish. Wisconsin ran out of water early in this race. Never a factor. Finish line within sight. Flag is up along the shore. The Congram Cup is staying in Boston as the Huskies remain perfect against Wisconsin in first varsity eight. Badgers still working their way across the finish line. The final margin will be a big one. So congratulations to Dottie, Engel, Kuhn, Camp, Henneke, Houghton, Arata, Purcell, and Lerwick. A dominating victory on Sunday morning in Boston and a great race to watch if you're a Huskies fan. So on behalf of our entire crew, Dylan Hornblum in the boat, Zach Perry back in the studio, I'm Kevin Gale saying thanks so much for tuning in to Howlin' Huskies Productions.